Agri Communication firm Isoko Ghana is predicting a reduction in food prices for the month of July 2020. According to Isoko, all things being equal, it's expected that some commodities will see a reduction in prices, while few will see increases. In the following report, we take a look at how the market fared for the month of June and what to expect in July. This prediction by Isoko comes after most commodities recorded high prices for the month of June. Cassava, for instance, made the highest gain of 12.99% to close the month at 158 Ghana cities per bag. Imported rice also gained 9.90% to close at 404 Ghana cities per bag, while Pona gained 6.65% to close at 892.67 Ghana cities per 100 tubers, with quite cowpea also gaining 6.03% to close at 452 cities per bag. Gary increased by 3.10% to close at 242.14% per bag, with granite shield also gaining 2.93% to close at 582.29 Ghana cities per bag. However, the price of tomato plunged by 42.99% to close at 532 Ghana cities per crate. Local rice losing 2.49% to close at 336.29 Ghana cities. With the rain setting in now, Isoko is predicting a reduction in food prices for the month of July. According to the agri communication firm, all things being equal, it expects most commodities to see reduction in prices with few witnessing an increase. Francis Danswege is the content manager at Isoko Ghana. He joins me via the phone lines to talk more. Hello, Francis. Good evening. And if you can hear me, you are predicting a reduction in food prices for this month. What is the basis for your conclusion? Good evening and thank you. Yes, we, Francis. Yes, go ahead, please. We arrived, we arrived at that conclusion because over the year, when you study the trend, any time that we enter the month of July, moving towards August, you see commodity prices dropping. And this is as a result of the fact that most of the farmers who want to, and traders who want to release the old stock that they had and then make preparations for the harvest in um, August. And so they try to release the old stock onto the market, mm. thereby reducing the prices of most of the commodities that are traded. Okay, so you mentioned that we witnessed some increases and then also some increases as well. What specifically will go up and what will not go up? So we, we expect that county, which is local B, the prices will still move up. And then we also expect that the price for yam and then cassava will still be up because we will not be having, we will not be in, in that season where we expect the, com uh, the price right. of that commodity to drop. Okay, quickly before you go, the rains are in now. How is that likely to impact food supply and distribution? It is going to create a challenge in a lot of the rural areas where we cut our um, food stuff from onto the market. Mm. And so when that happens, especially if they are vegetables and mm. then those that cannot store for long, we are going to lose a lot of them on the road, which is going to um, have an effect on the prices when it finally gets to the market because they will have to pay more for transportation. All right, and then find other means of cutting it. All right, Francis, thanks so much for your time this evening.